In this second part of So What Can You Do on FreeBSD Anyway, we'll be taking a look at what's available for fans of video and audio, plus a little something else. We've already covered MP3 players in part one, so now it's time to look at what's available in terms of general audio software. In this category, there's simply too many to list, never mind to show. But for an example of what's out there, here are some gems. You have the obligatory CD Ripper software, MP3 tagging, sound conversion, CD DVD writing, as well as an effects engine for real time effects, and an audio visualizer. FreeBSD isn't short of tools to manipulate audio, rescue audio files, or even encode audio as a picture. Uh, not quite understood how that works, but it sounds very cool indeed. But before we can listen and manipulate the audio, we first need to create it. So, although there are quite a few ways to capture audio, the two shown here, Audacity and Traverso, are examples of a more user-friendly and quick approach. But I'm being a little unfair. Traverso is considered to be a DAW, or D-A-W, a digital audio workstation. And it uses Jack, something which I found to be difficult to get grips with, and I'll touch on that later. Suffice to say that these two, on their own, will give you all you need for audio capture, even if Audacity has had some of its shine rubbed off a little lately in the tech press. When it comes to DAWs, FreeBSD isn't short of options, which is a great thing. You have the aforementioned Traverso, but you also have Muse Sequencer. Muse is a MIDI audio sequencer with recording and editing capabilities written originally by Werner Sphere. Apologies for the pronunciation. And it's now developed and maintained by the Muse development team. Muse aims to be a complete multi-track virtual studio for FreeBSD. But like Traverso, it uses Jack. So if you have that running, you are good to go. Otherwise, it's a no-show, which is a shame. It would be great if it was able to use FreeBSD's OSS by default. So we have Muse Sequencer, a MIDI audio sequencer. We have Traverso, which is a versatile digital audio workstation. And Z Rhythm, a little bit of Ardour and a little bit of Jalv. Each suited to different levels of experience. The one DAW not shown is perhaps the more widely known one, and that's Ardour. And I've not shown it because without Jack up and running, it really doesn't get past the initial small config screen, so it's uh, not very exciting. When it comes to video editing, from Caden Live to PTV, you'll not go without choice either. And as you can see here, it's none other than Caden Live in action. In fact, I'm editing this video with it, and it's all very strange to see yourself editing a video which you edited and then uploaded. But anyway, it works flawlessly, and I've not experienced any crashes, etc., as some people report. But then again, those reports were from Linux users, and uh, I'm just saying. If Caden Live is too much, and perhaps you want a lighter alternative, then Shortcut seems to be okay. It may not have all the options that Caden Live does, but it does seem snappier to use. Then there is OpenShot. Uh, now OpenShot was my first video editor on FreeBSD, and some of the first videos I made were in OpenShot. In fact, I've used all three of these editors at various times since starting making YouTube videos in, in 2017 and 2018, settling with Caden Live in the last couple of years. OpenShot is a fun, beginners-friendly video editor and a great way to introduce someone to the concept of video editing. It may seem colourful and quirky, but that's exactly what makes it so great. But we're not finished yet with video editors. Uh, there are some more, uh, albeit lesser known ones or less friendly, such as PTV or AVDMUX. Although people have used these to great effect, so I guess it's down to personal taste. For everything else video-related, and very much as the situation with the audio side of FreeBSD, there are too many to choose from. From video format converters to recording studio software to players, there's choice galore. On screen, you can see we have a few video players running, albeit a studio, handbrake, and even a console video player, uh, which is pretty trippy. So when someone says that FreeBSD doesn't have any software, you know better. I've been interested in computer animation ever since the early days of the BBC Micro and the Acorn Archimedes in the UK, whilst I was at school. And through using an Amiga, 
that interest continued. So it's a great thing that FreeBSD 2 is more than capable to do this with such great applications such as Pencil, Blender, Dune and OpenTunes. And FreeBSD is more than able to handle any of them and to get your creations done. It's not just moving creations that you can create with FreeBSD, you also have a wide range of choices when it comes to CAD or computer-aided design. And there are a ton of options. In fact, too many to fit all on the screen. Here you can see that there is a wide range from the electrical circuit CAD program to a more fun Lego-based designer. Each and every one on FreeBSD and each and every one able to get your work done. And I think that's the whole magic of FreeBSD. It can get your work done if you are a server-based operation. It can get your work done if you use it as a desktop system for the home or small office. And it can get your work done if you are a workstation user. Yes, I know that there aren't some of the big name card graphics suites available, but that's also true for Linux users too. But where there's a will, there's a way. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.